Hello, my wonderful spirit guides. Today I am back with Taylor Swift and it has been so long. I have felt the length of this time. It has felt like forever. Um, yeah, and I've just been reacting to so many different things. Then we had Christmas, we had New Year's and I feel like I haven't even had a chance to even listen to a lot of Taylor. Um, I have done here and there and I will, I, actually I am happy to inform you that I'm liking Evermore a lot more. I'm liking Evermore a lot more now. I still think that I'll think folklore is a little bit more special just because of the way it made me feel on first listen, but I think there's still time for me to get into the Evermore ones and see how it goes, you know, and maybe at the end of this journey I could do it where, like, I listen to them again and kind of do a review, like, and then choose my favourite album or whatever out of all the albums I hear. Yeah, well, that's something to think about at the end of the whole discography, though. Um, but yeah, right now we're going to be diving into Taylor Swift, Vault, the Vault Tracks, Vault Tracks, um, and there's quite a few, so it is going to be like a, a full album vibe again. Also, I've just painted my nails, so I'm like, that's why I'm being all like Roger from American Dad, I'm like... <laughs> I don't know, I just don't want them sticking to anything. Right, but anyway, let's just get into it. Uh, if you would like to see this completely uncut, do go to Patreon. It completely funds this channel. Without the patrons, I wouldn't be doing this. I actually wouldn't. It's because of the patrons, this can be literally my job. So, yeah. Um, do become a patron because it genuinely does so much for the channel, does so much for me and everything. But if you can't, don't worry, just like, comment, uh, subscribe, share the video, follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok, all the links will be in the description, so just go check it out. Yeah, I thought today, because then when I reacted to Red, I was like fully like red and kind of like, uh, you know, like almost like, um, it's like a bright red, kind of sweet in a way, you know, but I thought because of vault tracks, I don't know why, I just thought I'd go a little bit darker, a bit more of like a vampiric red vibe, you know, but also I do kind of look quite innocent, I was, I, I did an Instagram post where I was like, if only if this was a cross, I'd look quite innocent, like, <laughs> but yeah, I actually haven't listened to Taylor in quite a while, just because I've been, number one, over Christmas, I was trying to listen to everything I could. So I did listen to a bit of Taylor over Christmas, but I was trying to listen to like lots of different things. Uh, number two, I've been listening to Kaliuchi's, I think that's how you say her name, um, over this month. And also I've been listening to Ice Peak, which is a completely different style of band altogether. Uh, so yeah, just got preoccupied with other things. Yeah, I, I feel like as well, once I do the whole discography, I'll really like listen even more. I don't know why, I just feel like because I'm on the journey, I'm like moving forward with the journey. I don't, I don't know, it's weird. I'm just, I'm just on this journey. Does that, I don't know if that makes sense. It's just, I don't want to sit with anything for too long. Yeah, I don't know, because when I listened to Folklore and I loved it so much and then I heard Evermore and I was a little bit disappointed, I think it's because I was getting really into Folklore and then I had to then go to Evermore and I wasn't ready to in a way. So I'm trying not to listen to the albums too much. I just want to go through the discography and then I can listen to them whenever I want sort of thing like that. Alrighty, let's do it. The moment I knew. Should have been there Should have burst through the door with that Baby I'm right here smile And I would have been so happy Christmas lights glisten I've got my eye on the door Just waiting for you to walk in How you said you'd be here And it was like floor Chills. But there was one thing missing, and that was the moment I knew. Oh, chills, 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 absolutely everywhere. Ugh, freezing. I love getting chills, but I hate it. <laughs> and the hours pass by. Now I just want to be alone, but your close friends always seem to know. Down the, hall. the production 
chances I say hopelessly He said he'd be here oh. the And vocal. it was like so So this kind of sounds like she's talking about her birthday party, the one that maybe Jake didn't turn up to. And this is like her, because she's mentioned it in a couple lines, obviously, in her song All Too Well. But it's like she's really going in into it in this song. And it's like, it's actually so cool hearing this again, because it definitely has, you know, the red feeling. And of course, I've listened to Folklore and Evermore. It was like... It's funny going back to Red and actually seeing the distinctive differences as well. And it was like slow motion Standing there in my party dress In red lipstick Happy birthday to you But there was one thing missing And that was the moment I knew Beautiful! That was so gorgeous, those fucking vocals. I said I'm sorry too, and that was the moment I knew. That was the moment I knew. Oh, Sad. Oh, going into the vault tracks, sad. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, I'm going to do a lyric video after, so I'm not going to go into the lyrics, but um, I am going to go look at the about section just to see. Uh, yeah, the moment I knew was about my 21st birthday, which was the worst experience ever, which we know. Oh, so sad. But yeah, I'll probably go into lyrics in a, that, in a separate video. I forgot to say that that's what I'm going to be doing now. Whenever I want to go into lyrics of an album, and of course Taylor Swift, I always want to go into lyrics, um, I'm going to do a separate video for all the lyric analysis and just like keep the reaction videos just smooth running because some people don't love like the lyric analysis parts and some people really do love it, but also I can get really tired out by doing like song reading lyrics, song reading lyrics, song reading lyrics. It ends up being really, really, really long. At least if I could do like just a reaction, I've got more energy, then I can take a pause, go get something to eat, you know, rejuvenate before I go and do the lyric reading. And then I could pick up the lyric reading whenever I want as well. Like say if I got tired after like reading a few songs, I could literally pick it up another day and it won't like ruin the flow of the, the music. You know what I mean? So just in case you didn't know, that is what I'm doing. But yeah, that was gorgeous. And it definitely gave me that red feeling. I love that explosive chorus. And also that like, what is it at the, at the beginning? A cello maybe? It was so like uh, bassy and like um, masculine. It had a masculine energy, honestly. And then obviously the strings would like uh, get a little bit more well, uh, excitable in a way, and very like a do, 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 very dramatic, um, really adding to the emotion of the song. Yeah, cool. Okay. Also, did she like write these songs or like this song later on, or did she write it at the same time as she wrote Red and but it wasn't released? Um, oh, one sec. Ah, uh, yeah. Sorry about that. Um. I had to, so, oh, it's really boring. It, basically, the audio has to go through this specific program called Loopback, and um, they just, like, updated it, so it, it um, I didn't log in, uh, so it went, turned into white noise because it thought I was only using it, like, for 10 minutes, which is, like, the test period, uh, like, the, the free amount you can get with it, but because I purchased it a while ago and I forgot to log in, yeah, I thought I was doing the test whatever i told you it was boring i <laughs> don't know why i even went into it but yeah anyway i think all is okay and hopefully i'm recording properly 
Right. Oh, anyway. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, it was just very dramatic. It felt like, yeah, I can't. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was it. I was wondering um, if she wrote it before or, you know, or if she wrote it more recently. Right. Anyway, sorry. Let's move on. Sorry. Quite, I'm feeling a bit dizzy. I'll look more into it when we do the lyric video. Next song is called Come Back, dot, 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 Be Here. He said it in a simple way, 4 a.m. the second day. How strange it I don't know you at all. I told myself don't get attached, but in my mind I play it back. Oh, I love it with the harmonies. I hoped that she would do that. Come back, be here. Come back. Like, just when I had the come back, I was like, you've got to do a low one after that. you got to. And she did. And it was perfect. It was beautiful. I don't know why. Sometimes you could just tell when, like, certain things are going to happen. Or you hope that they will happen. And then when they do, it's, oh, it's just magical. Come back, be here. Come back, be here. Yeah. And then she goes up on that one. Even lower on the last one. It definitely feels like a. Uh, it's like come back, be here. It's like she's like really like, uh, I don't know, reaching like come back and then be like, and like almost like a whisper, like so more intimate, just like be here, be here with me. Like it, it shows the array of emotion she's feeling. Delicate beginning rush, the feeling you can know so much without no. That guitar. So surfy. Taxi cabs and busy streets that never bring you back to me. I can't help but wish you took me with you. And this is when the feeling sinks in. I don't want to miss you. I'm obsessed with the production on this one. Shivers, shivers, shivers. This is falling for you and you are worlds away in New York. Be here. That tension. And then a breakdown, cause it's not fair that you're not around. This is when the feeling sinks oh. in. I don't wanna miss you like this. Come back, be here, come back. Levine. This is kind of an Avril Lavigne song. Come back, be here. Oh, so good, so good. And I also loved how you know when I was like, oh, tension, and when it goes dun dun dun, and then you feel it rising, then it pulls back once again. That is such a classic like pop song, rock song sort of thing. So mainly like these kind of indie rock song, well, rock songs in general, uh, they do that, you know, the songs that literally like, you feel like you're building, then it pulls back even more, then it throws you in. Oh, it's such a nice feeling. And it kind of has to come back, be here feeling like that. Come back, ah, ah, you know, this kind of push pull sort of feeling to it. Um, obviously come back, be here aren't juxtaposing at all. Uh, but, it's the way she says it, like, come back, be here. It just is that kind of, it's desperation, but also like a, it's like desperation in an a expressive outward way, but then desperation in a very introverted sort of inward way. Does that make sense? It's like this 
it's like a desperate plea to like a firm kind of plea or like a serious note of being like just be here don't leave just be here instead of don't leave be with me you know I, I hope you understand what I'm saying I'm probably over explaining something quite simple but yeah I loved the way that was I loved all the instrumentation it sounds so good and it's so funny actually because when I am listening to this and I was thinking about you know, with Evermore, and some of the sounds are saying that some of it's a little repetitive. You get the do 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 You know, this doesn't have that, and it's really nice to hear this red out um sort of vibe again, and just have like those flowing sounds and things that change, and also that guitar. It's so like uh surfy and legato and smooth and. I just love it. And I like the drum patterns. I love the backing vocals. Oh my goodness, the backing vocals are gorgeous. But anyway, moving on, we've now got Girl at Home. Okay. Damn. This sounds quite pop. the gated verb so like the you know the reverb is very like um it, it's not like wide spanning in the sense of like it's not like going down a hallway it feels like she's in like a container which has a little bit of echo and a little bit of reverb to it and then also the drum like the it just gives it like this kind of like shape rather than a go or just going you know it's got like a little cylindrical um like a pill shape, you know, like a pill shaped tank. That's what it sounds like everything's in. Um, just like this, you know, the reverb isn't going crazy, but it definitely has a lot of space in it. It very it feels very open in a small kind of container. I like that. Not tiny container, like a medium container. This is weird, I know, but I like it. And you've got a little bits of distortion too. The EQ is so high here. It's gonna drop. The distortion on that synth. Perfect production. So you see, like, in the uh, uh, chorusy bits, it has a bit more of a stereo effect where her voice feels like it's, like, it's here, it's everywhere, you know? And it feels layered and um, the maybe a little, the reverb has increased a little bit there. It definitely feels wider. And as soon as it gets back to the verse, it kind of goes a little bit more mono, a little bit more, you know? And um feels very intimate. It, it's just fantastic dynamic. I'm absolutely obsessed with the production on this song because it's like a pop song but like with a little bit of a rock attitude, but it's also quite unique as well. I really like this. Oh my gosh, I love this actually. Yeah, so like the thing about EQ is like it's, it's a really good way of like getting like even the deepest of instruments. You could if you pull up the highs in any instrument, it can make it have a feeling of being high. Of course, you're pulling the high, you know, uh, registers of an instrument up. So of course, it's going to feel high. But as it feels like that little tinny sound, almost like it's coming out of like a little. I don't know how I pictured it. it was like a little um you know like a little stereo by a pool I don't know why I saw it like that like someone sunbathing and it's just coming out their stereo I guess it's that early 2000s feel and I'm like matching up to like chick flicks and stuff like that but yeah it's all like high and tinny almost and then it like plunges you into the deepness by, by uh, bringing the highs probably down a little and pushing the lows back up and some mids and so on like that. Yeah, making it feel full again. The dynamic is perfect just through the EQ alone. And of course, that addition of the bass being thrown in there because I don't know if there is any bass on the bit that... No bass. Yeah. 
so good. You'll probably notice we talk about EQ quite a lot in my album reactions, but it's just because it is such a important thing. Like, honestly, whatever you do, like, on any instrument that you do when you're producing, so, like, if you put in a synth, you have to uh, sort the EQ out. You know, if you want a synth to be going, ah, yeah, and then you've got another going, ah, together, right? One of them, it's nice for one of them, say, the highest, to have, like, the highs lifted so it has a more breathy... Uh, tinny you know but breathier sound I'd call I'd say um and then say the one below that might be slightly reduced and maybe the mids will be up a little bit and then you might have one that goes under that where like the the bass will be up a little bit but you could still do it as well where the high has the bass higher where the high note can have the bass higher and the lowest note can have the highs higher it just changes the texture that's it it changes the texture quite a lot um so eq is very important you put it on every single instrument you really do um when you're produ producing and someone like that um and i love it when you can hear it so prominent in songs and it be used in such a fun way like this so yeah sorry a little bit nerdy there but and i hope i explained it okay if you could explain it better go ahead honestly Sorry to cut in, I just wanted to show a little example of all the things I was saying. And um, I wasn't using the word frequency when I was talking, um, just because I, I couldn't remember it, so I was like, register, uh, highs, lows. Yeah, I didn't use the word frequency, but it's all about frequency. But yeah, I'll, I'll give you a little example. <laughs> So yeah, I could go on all day about how like changing the frequencies um, can really give the sound dynamic and different textures and so on. But that's just like a little example. And basically, so say if you had two sounds that sounded very drowned out um, and they were merged together, it could end up sounding a bit muddy. So if you change the EQ on one of them, say bring up the highs, it will sound less muddy and more dynamic and more full and because it'll be different textures against each other, not the same texture on top of each other. But anyway, let's get back to Taylor Swift. We're about to jump right back into the song, so sorry if it's a little bit jarring. Very intimate. Ooh, that kick! Let's consider this lesson. Don't look at me. You got a girl at home, and everybody knows that. Everybody knows that. I see you. Pick up your phone and tell her you're coming home. My proposition if I hadn't once been just like her. Taylor's a girl's girl. That EQ again. Like it's going through a little radio thing. It's cute. Taylor, she has been a girl's girl. She's saying, uh, you've got a girl home at home. Everyone knows it. Uh, so do you really think that I'm going to go and get down with you? You cheating little son of a Susan. You know what I mean? She ain't having none of it.
And that's why we love her. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like I've already said quite a lot about that song. So let's move on. Uh, State of Grace acoustic version. I'm walking fast through the traffic lights. Busy streets and busy lives. And all we know is touch and go. We fall in love till it hurts or bleeds or fades in time. And I never Oh, so gentle. And I'll never be the same. I love it with the drum. We are alone, just you and me. Up in your room, and our slates are clean. Just twin fire signs. Shades are wrong. We learn to live with the pain. Mosaic broken hearts. And I'll never be the same. Pretty. I love it with that drum. The state of grace. That's pretty. This is the the release of it playing that full chord is a ruthless game unless you play it good and right the golden age of something good and right and real wow, shivers so pretty and that's like a fun one like to sing to i'll probably cut a lot of my singing bits out there because honestly when i got these headphones on um because they're noise cancelling i genuinely can't hear myself sing so sometimes i hear some of the like little melodies i do or, and i'm like <laughs> let's just pretend that one didn't happen <laughs> some of them work some of them just need to be muted yeah pretty really beautiful i like the way that drum fell it was so like bum, 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 bum. just a lot of like tension in it the whole way through in a way but like and then when you get those it bling, just has like that real release that like kind of ah, which is gorgeous but anyway moving on we now have Ronan <laughs> This light keeps going on my face. I love it, but not on my face. I remember you bare feet down the hallway. I remember you little laugh. Race cars on the kitchen floor. Plastic dinosaurs. I love you to the moon and back. I remember you dancing before bedtime. Then jumping on me, waking me up. I can still feel you hold my hand. You fought it hard like an army guy. Remember, I leaned in and whispered to you. Come on, baby, with me. We're gonna fly away from here. You were my best for years. I remember. Drive home on the blind hope. Turn 
into crying and screaming Why flowers pile up in the worst way No one knows what to say About a beautiful boy who died Oh my god Out of this curtained room in this hospital gray Will just disappear You were my best for years Only four? Who is she talking about? This is so fucking sad Whew. And what if I kept the hand-me-downs you won't grow into? And what if I really thought some miracle would see us through? What if the miracle was even getting one moment with you? She do this. My best for years. I remember your bare feet down the hallway. I, love I just don't want the tears the going on down my face. Back. Okay. Thank you for that one, Taylor. That's very fucking kind of you to ruin <laughs> my day like that. so sad what the hell i don't even know who she's talking about but obviously just death is sad and especially when it's a child i just want to see who it's about oh it's just too sad I really don't want to ruin my makeup though, because it's going to last me all day. <laughs> all right. <sighs> okay. 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 Swift wrote Ronan about a three year old boy named Ronan Thompson who died of neuroblastoma after an eight month battle in 2011. Ronan's mother, Maya Thompson, who gets credit as co-writer on the song, wrote about Ronan's journey and the progression of his illness on a blog called Rockstar Ronan, which he now uses to write letters to Rose Ronan about her life and his siblings. Little did Maya know, Swift stumbled on the blog around the time Ronan died. She invited Maya backstage at her 2011 Speak Now tour and they exchanged contact information. Shortly after, Swift told Maya she wrote Ronan as a tribute to her son, son and wanted to perform the song at a 2011 awareness fundraiser for Stand Up to Cancer. Maya recalled the phone call in 2012 blog post. Ah, This is what she said, Maya said. I wrote a song for Ronan, Taylor said. The tears started pouring down my cheeks as soon as I heard her say those words. But her words didn't stop there. Not only did she write a song for you, but she wanted to know if it would be alright to perform it on the nationally televised Stand Up To Cancer show, which is on every major network and is seen in over 100 countries. She wanted to know if she could use a picture of you in the background while she sang the song. <laughs> Fuck. I need to get tissues because it's happening, guys. The tears are going to come out. Oh, sorry. That is bloody sad. All right. I just have too much empathy. I don't even know this kid. But I have a kid, obviously. So, obviously, that's just. I can't imagine. I, can't, I just can't imagine how. I just can't imagine. Okay? I just can't imagine losing her. So, and I don't want to imagine it. I don't want to. But anyway, uh, it's just the fact that Maya is saying this to Ronan in her blog, and it's so sweet. 
She wanted to know if she could use your picture in the background. <laughs> Sorry, it's like hard. Well, she sang the song. She wanted to make me co-author of the song with her. She talked about how reading this blog and following our story has inspired her and how amazing she thinks I am and all I'm doing to bring awareness to childhood cancer. Whew. Okay, Swift has only performed Ronan a few times in her whole career, once to stand up at uh, Kent's telethon, and a second time when the Thompson family went to her 1989 tour in 2015. After meeting with the Thompson family, Swift asked if she could perform Ronan in his honour that night, and Maya wrote about the evening on her blog. Maya mentioned that she felt Ronan's presence during the song, which she usually couldn't listen to without sobbing. Nobly, Swift's mother was diagnosed with cancer in 2015, shortly after she performed Ronan. Her battle inspired Swift's raw 2019 song, Soon You'll Get Better. Oh, God. So there's more to come that's going to kill me. More songs like this. Well, it, of course there's going to be more sad songs from Taylor. It's just how it is. But, oh, when it's about death and of a child... Death of anyone, but when it's a child, come on, like that is so painful. I don't think it's just so sad, and that is the cruelest thing, like to take a child from living. Anyway, I've talked about stuff like this before in other videos. I don't, I don't go into it all now because I get very strange. I get morbid. It's hard to explain. It's like my way of coping with the fact that children die is, you know, a lot of people say it. Some people just say like, you know. They were, they weren't meant for this world in the in the sense that like their purity and their childish childish joy and their innocence just got to live strong and they never got had to grow up to see the darkness of it and that's the way of of life darkness of life that's why the way I like to look at it um even though that might seem weird to other people I don't know but and also like. If I do make it about me a little bit, which is a completely different thing, don't get me wrong, I'm laughing because it's going to sound silly, but when my cat died, that was the closest thing to, like, like that was the close. that was real grief, I felt. I'd lost people before, but losing my cat was, like, to me, it felt like I lost a child, and I swear I am not saying it's the same. I promise you, I have a child. I think I'd know the difference if that happened, but... I, I, it was still absolutely heartbreaking and he was only five years old and just even like the patter of footsteps along the hallway and like when she was saying that it was reminding me of my cat and yeah so you know songs like this remind you of people and animals that you have lost so yeah but mainly I am just actually empathizing with this woman and I also think it's so special that Taylor did this and Taylor's just a sweetheart, isn't she? Okay, right. Uh, no tears coming out, but I'm getting snotty. <laughs> After Big Machine Records sold to Swift's Masters to Mogul Scooter Braun, stupid Scooter head, in 2019, Maya expressed her fear and disappointment about Braun owning Ronin. In two tweets in July 2021, Maya announced on her blog that Swift recorded Ronin for Red. Uh, Taylor's version allowing them to regain control of Ronan's story. All proceeds from Ronan went to charities that helped fund cancer research including the Thompson family's own foundation they founded in Ronan's name. It is powerful how like some of these parents who lose their children to an illness like cancer or lose their children in any way um, can do stuff like write a blog and start like making their life revolve around charities and um you know their child's name so that he'll never be forgotten like they become advocates for certain foundations and charities and you know you know what I mean I can't sorry my brain's mush I just think that's so powerful because if it was me I would like if that was my child there would be no me in this world anymore I'm sorry there's no fucking way there would be a me here in this world anymore so people are just very strong and I think it's admirable really because what 
I can't even imagine going through something that horrific and I, I just like I said I don't want to imagine it uh, right moving on let's just hope this one isn't as sad I don't fucking know though I guess we'll find out okay so in brackets it actually says here from the vault so does that mean it is a does that mean that this is like a song that oh from the vault like an unreleased song hmm I don't know you're gonna have to let me know about all this anyway let's do it The song title doesn't give me hope that it's going to be happy, but we'll see. I love all this surfy guitar. I know I'm probably better off on my own than loving a man who didn't know what he had when he had it. True that. I wish it wasn't 4 a.m. Standing in the mirror saying to myself, you know you had to do it, I know. Bravest thing I ever did was right Sometimes in the middle of the night I can feel you Super country But I just miss you and I just wish you were a better man a better man I know I'm probably better off all alone I love that lyric. But I just miss you and I just wish you were a better man. But I know why we had to say goodbye like the back of my hand. I hold on to this pride because these days it's all I have. Yeah, sonically, I liked it. It wasn't my favourite. I think after Ronan, though, I'm very, like, uh, you know, kind of <laughs> knocked out from it. But I like the words, love the words, makes so much sense. And when I was, like, too true, it's because, like, it, it's, um, I don't know, it's just, I'm taking these off for a second. It's that feeling that I just understand that, like, um, sometimes you're in a relationship and it's not working out. And sometimes you think to yourself, like, why can't you just be better? Like, it's not that hard. You literally feel like it, it's not that hard. What? Why is it so difficult for you just to be a better man? And it feels like here she's saying, like, you know, sometimes I miss you and I wish you were a better man. And she's like, well, at least I know I tried my best. Um, but these men don't know how to be a better man because they don't have it in them. Do you know what I mean? They, or, like, or if it's a woman, doesn't matter. But she's like, what, a man here? But, like, you know, some people don't you think, why can't you just do better? But they just, some people just can't, or they don't want to. They don't feel like they have to. Just felt that one on a level that I understood, basically. Right, I'm gonna go get myself a little um, <clears throat> fizzy drink and have a little break, just because that Ronin one did actually uh, kick out me a little bit and I'm in my feels. So I'm just gonna have a quick moment to myself. <laughs> I'm back, I'm back. I'm back with a fizzy pop. 
It's San Peregrino Ranciata Rossa. <laughs> I love this one. It's my favourite. Basically, it's blood orange. Mm -mm. Mm. Yeah, I just had to like kind of clear my mind a little bit because I was like, that one was heavy. And I wasn't like taking in the better man one very well. So I was like, Phew, okay, wait, let me just have a breather. Damn. Especially because when I'm trying to restrict my tears, all because of my makeup, um, you know, when they're not coming out. Well, actually, if I came out, I'd probably be more of a mess. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just got to get your bearings about you when you get an emotional like that. Deeply emotional. But on a Wednesday in a cafe, I watched it begin again. <laughs> that was random. Right, anyway, let's get back to business. Next song is Nothing New. Okay, Tudor, do it to me. They tell you while you're young Girls go out and have your fun Then they hunt and slay the ones Who actually do it True When you're soaring through the sky Shoot you down and then they sigh And say she looks like she's been through it Oh my gosh. Lord, what will become of me once I've lost my novelty? I've had that piano. too much to drink tonight, and I know it's sad, but this is what I think about. It's like I can feel time moving. How can a person know everything at 18, but nothing at 22? Nothing new How long will it be cute? Phoebe Bridges All this crying in my room I just noticed, I just heard her voice and knew and then I looked And my cheeks are growing tired From turning red and faking smiles Are we only biting time? I've had too much to drink tonight How did I go from growing up to breaking down And I wake up the lyrics. in the middle of the night well, Everything at 18, but nothing at 22 When I'm nothing new Oh my god, I love this one We're back, I love it I know someday I'm gonna meet her It's a fever dream The kind of radiance you only have at 17 I'll say I'm happy for her Then I'll cry myself to sleep Oh, 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 oh. I love it. I'm excited to get into the lyrics of that one. Absolutely stunning though. And Phoebe on it, just oh perfect. I love her voice. Phoebe's voice is so gorgeous. And them two together is really, really gorgeous. Ah. Oh. Wow. I lo I loved everything about that song, the way it moved, all of it. Just beautiful, calm energy, emotional energy again. Yeah, I'm excited to get into that one lyrically, for sure. All right, next song is called Babe. I like that. I love that. What a shame. Did it want to be the one that got? Oh, 
Oh, I love her. Yeah. Pushing her voice a little there. You brought the sweetest promise that you never should have made. Nice. I'm here on the kitchen floor. You call, but I won't hear it. It's bad. You really do this bad. This is the last time I'll ever call you babe. This is the last time. I love that. I really like those backing vocals actually like sitting quite, you know, her voice is so at the forefront, but they sit literally just behind her. And I feel like the, the whole album has done that actually. Um, in, in these vault uh, tracks, these bonus tracks, there's been moments where the vocals are like tides, they're like waves, they're like oceans. And they really do sit like an atmospheric kind of weather. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, it's really cool. And it's strange how you feel Break it out. You really blew this, babe. babe. This is the last time I'll ever call you, babe. This is the last time. This is the last time I'll ever call you, babe. I'll be on the kitchen floor. I'll ever call you, babe. What about your promises, promises? Yes. Nice. I like the rhythm of it. I really do. That's a cute one. Fun one, actually. Because obviously, yeah, the lyrics are like, this is the last time I'll ever call you, babe. It's kind of funny, actually, the lyrics. Like, like I don't know, they're super girly. I don't know, kind of cute. Like, not too serious. They're kind of unserious in a way when it comes to like, this is the last time I'll ever call you, babe. I don't know. It's just got the unserious kind of cuteness to it, you know? And it's got a fun little beat, the way it moves. I really like that one, yeah, it's just sweet. Nice break in the um sort of sadder ones as well, for sure. Yeah, it really is a good mix so far, I'm feeling, definitely. Um, I'm just a little bit conscious of my daughter coming back to get her stuff before she goes to her father's house. So um, I don't want to listen to the next song until she's back, otherwise I'll be like, thinking about it too much but no I'm loving these uh vault tracks so far and the bonus tracks super good good mixed bag and definitely holds the red feeling I also wanted to say like um February uh the color of February to me is like a it's kind of like it, it bounces between red and a like deep 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 pinky red um so I actually think it's kind of cool that I'm listening to this the vault tracks in February and I don't know if you remember but this uh September is always really red like the color um, of September is bright red to me so like it is funny that I'm doing I did both red in September and now the vault tracks in February when they both have like red colors in the month I don't know just weird how it works out like that sometimes hello give me a cuddle before you go <laughs> love you the song we have now is message in a bottle oh that's different. I know that you like me, and it's kind of frightening standing here waiting, waiting. And I, but now you're so far away, and I'm down, feeling like a face in the crowd.
the melody. Super pop. You're so far away and I'm down. Feeling like a face in the On the lyrics here on Spotify. You could be the one that I love. Weird. Mm -mm. I love that kick. The backing vocals, the little ad libs. That's like, I was saying in the last one, like, oh, it feels like we're coming back with a bit more of a pop sound. It's kind of lush, like, it's lovely how it's a mixed barrel of, like, different sounds and, like, brings you out of the sad songs as well. And then that one is just truly, like, pop, pop galore. Really brings you out. It's a mood, it's one that you could dance to. It's so sweet. It's so cute. Her Red Era sort of pop songs are honestly so cute. And it is crazy, like, how, actually, it makes me wonder what, like, 1989 would be like. My sister says it's, like, her just favourite Taylor Swift album at this point. And she said it is just, like, a pop magic. So I'm, I'm wondering if, like... That sort of sound, message in a bottle, will, ha will carry through to what the 18, 1989 uh, songs sound like. I, I, I mean, I don't know yet, but that one was certainly extremely pop. Even like, you know, as it goes into the chorus again, and she's like, ah! you know, that ad lib just running over it. It's just classic pop. So, yeah, that's so cool and cute. I love the beat of it. Um, but I do also love that it's like, it's pop, but it's still the red album uh, feeling where it's like got the guitars still going for it. You know, it's not all like synth pop completely or anything. That's cool. Right. Okay. Now we've got I Bet You Think About Me featuring Chris Stapleton. Right. Okay. You know how I feel about men joining Taylor on tracks. I'm going to try and not be judgmental and see what I think. But if I don't like it, I'm going to say, okay. <sighs> 3 a.m. and I'm still awake I'll bet you're just fine fast asleep in your city It's better than mine in the good Better than mine Oh, do that again! Fast asleep in your city It's better than mine And I'll bet your friends tell you She's better than me <laughs> Harmonicas. Well, I tried to fit in with your upper crust circles. All they sit around talking about the meaning of life and the book that just saved them that I hadn't heard of. But now that we're done and it's over, okay, I bet you couldn't believe. Okay, I like it. I'm harder to forget than I was to leave. And I bet you think about me. Okay. A little bit of aggression. You grew up in a silver spoon gated community. Glamorous, shiny, bright Beverly Hills. Just living room dancing and kitchen table bills. But you know what they say You can't help who you fall for And you and I fell like an early spring snow You laughed at my dreams Rolled your eyes at my jokes Mr. Superior thinking Do you have all the space that you need? And I bet you think about me 
She softened it a little bit there. I bet you think about me. Yeah. Yes, I bet you think about me. I really do like Country Taylor. The voice is so loud, so you, why did you let her go? Does it make you feel sad that the love that you're looking for is the love that you had? Now you're out in the world, searching for your soul, scared not to be hip. Scared to get old Chasing make-believe status Last time you felt free Was when none of that shit mattered Cause you were with me But now that we're done and it's over I bet it's hard to believe And I was to leave And yeah, I bet you think about me She's insane, she wrote a song about me I bet you think about me I love it! Yeah, I really love that one. I love it. I love it. So cute. Country vibes. And Chris Stapleton, he did not impose. He was just like a lovely little carrier underneath her voice. He just, he made it work with his little country tones in there. It blended with the mix perfectly. Thanks, Chris. That was wonderful. But also, oh, what a cool song. I bet you think about me. <laughs> so cute. I can't wait to go into the lyrics of these songs. It's weird not being like going into them right away. Um, and I'm glad for it. But at the same time, it is making me excited to do the lyric video. I just love that from the harmonicas to the strings to the beat to the aggression in her vocal to the softness to the melodies to the way she you know, says things and like the little country twang. Oh my God, it was so good. Loved it. Okay. Anyway, next one is called Forever Winter. Okay. He says he doesn't believe anything much he hears these days. He says, why well, fall in love just so you can watch it go away. He spends most of his flights getting pulled down by gravity. I call just checking up on him. Mm. He says it's not just a phase I'm in. My voice comes out begging. Oh, this time I didn't know you were breaking down. If you weren't alive. Oh. The way she softens it. her voice like I don't know what it is it's not just like the songs but like her voice just like gives me chills so fast and they, and they literally go phew, phew, you know what I mean the chills like goosebumps I'm like oh it's crazy she just does such pretty like things with her voice and she has such playful melodies and like the melodies she chooses are truly unique to her yet they become a staple in like and like okay the melodies she chooses are so unique to her yet they are like a staple of pop music melodies you know what i mean it's like she does cliche pop melodies but her own it's like she's it's like she's inventing it it's like she's inventing well she is she's inventing the melodies but it's like she's inventing pop itself even though pop's always been a thing but you know what i mean it's like she does it it's taylor swift pop but she is like that should be the genre taylor swift pop <laughs> you know what i mean like she does have Really fun melodies, and then what she's doing with her voice with the da 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 da, what, what, like the little aspirate instead of being like what, it's like, huh. 
you know, I can't remember what the melody or what the bloody note was, but you know where I'm coming from. It's just so nice. I'll, I'll point it out next time. I think you already know. He seems fine most of the time, forcing smiles and never minds. His lap is a symphony. When the lights go out, it's hard to breathe. I pull at every thread, trying to solve the puzzles in his head. Live my life scared to death. He'll decide to leave instead. Five a.m. wasted, long gone. Not even listening. Comes out screaming. All this time I didn't know. Despair. You were breaking down. Oh, the soft nurse. when she like does a little outro on her songs like you know a couple lines that just give you that little extra punch in the gut before you go <laughs> the extra little oh that makes you go oh <laughs> so cute i love it i love the lyrics of that one too and, and the melodies the melodies i can't get over them i can't it's like you know in like um evermore and folklore she does like she still does it in this album too but like she does like a you know, she sometimes crams her words in in weird ways that are actually hard to learn. Like when I was learning, this is me trying, like trying to get the lyrics right in like the timing right was like, so I got to really focus on. And she still does kind of do that with these songs. Yet like, it's only because though, okay, okay. She still does that because she uses melodies that literally go up, down, all around. They don't just do the same little da 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 You know, she actually does like You know, it's like long melodies that don't repeat um that quickly. That you have to learn. It, it like dances on the track. I really hope I'm making sense. It's so hard to explain. But it's like her melodies literally dance on the track and like she does whatever she wants of them. But because the melodies will sometimes have like this super cliche pop moment, it, it like attaches to your brain so you can learn it a bit quicker than songs say from Folklore Evermore. Um, it's like she will do a country melody, do a little Taylor moment, then a cliche pop melody all in like a couple lines. Okay, I think that's the best way I'm going to describe it. I really hope you know what I mean. But it's like, it's actually just genuinely clever, interesting. It shows that she doesn't, she's not really copied anyone else. She's literally just done her own thing. And like I was saying earlier, she's invented pop in her way. Like this is pop. Like, I, I, and country as well on these ones, especially from the Red Album. But country pop vibes just all over it and maybe I haven't heard a lot of country pop to know what they do with all their melodies but yeah okay I'm talking in circles but I really do hope you understand what I mean I probably am making sense it's just when it's all coming out my mouth and I've not really thought it through I just don't even know <laughs> I'll be in editing like okay you've literally driven this point home about 10 million times fun get on with it <laughs> but anyway we've now got run featuring Ed Sheeran I didn't mind the song with Ed Sheeran before um 
I just want to know you better now. You better now. You better now. Yeah, I didn't mind that one. So let's see if I like this one with the old Eddie boy. Give me the keys. I'll bring the car back around. We shouldn't be in this town. And my so-called friends, they don't know. I drive away before I let you go. And I don't say no, no. There's a chain round your throat, piece of paper where I wrote, I'll wait for you. I like it. Take it with you. That's so pretty. And, run. and what I want to say is like the you. You know, I was saying earlier about all the backing vocals, I felt like they've sat a little bit, you know, just slightly behind Taylor. Not like really far in the distance, but just a little bit behind. Her voice is always so uh, intimate. She's really up here. Da, 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 da. And it's like that really, she's got a voice that cuts, that cuts through probably any mix, which is fantastic. Um, but yeah, the backing vocals just do sit one step behind and it sounds gorgeous. Add so much space and like dynamic. And run like you run from the law. Darling, let's run. We can go where our eyes can take us. Go where no one else is run. Laugh like a child And I'll sing like no one cares No one to be Oh, I love that. See, you can really feel like she's doing a backing vocals now. Her voice is sitting behind Ed. And that's just like... it. I know it makes sense because it's a backing vocal, but there's so many times where backing vocals sound like an alongside vocal you know, more of a duetty thing, rather than, hey, I'm just gonna sit here and do the harmonies. But they've really thought of it like that, like, hey, I'll do the harmonies on this verse, you do the harmonies on the next verse. It's your time to shine, now it's my time to shine, you know? It, mm, I like it, it feels classic to me. Um, and she sounds beautiful with his voice, actually. I think because his voice is kind of soft as well. And he has a voice that kind of cuts through a mix, even in a softer way, but it does cut through the mix quite well. Um, I just think their voice really, really, they really do complement each other. His voice isn't too low and deep, mentioning no names. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, it's just, <laughs> not me being sneakily trying not to mention Bon Iver. I'm actually going to be reacting to a Bon Iver album at some point. A patron requested it. They know full well that I haven't liked the um, Bon Iver tracks with Taylor. Um, but they still requested it, and I, I was glad they did. I was like, you know what? I do kind of want to hear a solo stuff and see what I think then. It might change my mind completely. So, yeah. But anyway, I just like Ed's and Taylor Swift's voice a little bit more together. And I'm not even an Ed Sheeran stan or anything. I just like it. I like what I like. No one to be, no one to tell. I could see this view a hundred times. Ready. Pale blue sky. Nothing like 
too special, but like not not special either. Just sweet. Just a nice sweet song, you know? Cute, warm, gentle, lovely. I just liked it. Also, I liked the bit where it goes, Do you know what? it was reminding me of a little bit of um on my way, do 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 on my way, do 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 on my way, and we'll run. Do 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 and we'll run. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was giving me a little bit like that of that, especially when they were saying, um what was it? And and don't say no, no, no. Something like that. It was reminding of me of that then. So yeah, very cute. Right, moving on, we've now got the very first night. I wish I could fly. I'd pick you up and we go back in time. And so it goes every weekend, the same party. I never go alone and I don't seem broken hearted. My friend never go alone and Ooh. I don't seem broken. The way you alone. I drive down different roads, but they all lead back to you. The go back in time bit is a little backing vocal. Go back. It like gives it like a little bit of width. I like that. This melody is very pop. This one is one of those. I thought it on the last song as well. I was like, yeah, these melodies are a little bit more um easy peasy, like that some of the Red Album songs have, uh, you know, which compare to like, compared to like folklore where the melodies are kind of all over the place and like do lots of different things. And earlier in the album as well, earlier in the vault tracks um, and bonus tracks, she likes to do it where she starts high sometimes and trails off low or just like low and goes high. But this is very like, da 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 you know, repeating sort of thing. Repeating melodies. I love that. The harmonies are so good. Dance in the kitchen, chase me down through the hallway. No one knows about the words that we whisper. No, I wish I could fly. I'd pick you up and we go back in time. I'd write this in the sky. Take me away, take me away, take me away to you. filler for me but it was sweet it's very pop you know i like i like her doing like a bit more of the fun melodies going a little bit up and down there wasn't a lot of dynamic to the song there was but it wasn't i don't know it wasn't like yeah it was it was good it was cute okay it was cute i can't hate it like you know it's not nothing to hate it, nothing annoyed me it was just um sweet but yeah all too well 10 minute version obviously i've already heard it so i am gonna skip that one I saved myself some tears. Oh, that's the last. Oh, that was the last song on the bloody uh, bonus tracks. Hey, I thought what about um, Snow on the Beach? Is it? Oh, is it maybe a Midnight's one? Oh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Snow on the Beach is a a Midnight's one. But yeah, that's fine because I have actually already reacted to Snow on the Beach on Patreon. I don't know if I've put it on YouTube yet, but I think when I do the album, I just want to hear it again. I don't want to put my initial reaction in. I I just want to do run through it but i'm sure i'll post my original reaction at some point okay vault tracks and bonus tracks super cute um let me have a little look through them and see what is my favorite on first like you know listen 
Um, and when I get into lyrics, that could all change as well, because lyrics are just so important to me. You know, like they're important to me in a sense of like they're not always important with some songs, but when you have a lyrically charged song or you're a lyrically charged artist like Taylor, um, obviously they are very important. The Moment I Knew, I really like that one. Come Back, Be Here, really like that. Girl at Home, really like that. I, I really like Girl at Home. That was really fun, actually. Um, <clears throat> State of Grace Acoustic, which I thought that was very beautiful. Ronan. Oh, sad. <laughs> but good. Better Man, I couldn't really register it after Ronan, but it was actually quite good. Um, Nothing New. With Phoebe Bridges, I really love that one. Babe, again, cute. Um, Message in a Bottle, I really like that one. I Bet You Think About Me, I really like that one. Forever Winter, really like that one. Run, I thought was sweet. The very first night, uh, sweet. Yeah, yeah, so actually, that's pretty good, isn't it? I, I kind of like them all. Um, you know, yeah, there were some that I liked more than others, but I definitely didn't hate any. So, yeah, oh, that went well. And, um... Yeah. I, oh my God. Okay. Well, I'm going to do the lyric analysis uh, after this. I'm going to have to, I've got therapy in 45 minutes, so I'll make a start, but um, I might pick it up another day because uh, I'll probably only get for a couple songs because I've only got 45 minutes, maybe a few songs, but um, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, sorry, inside thoughts coming out. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, become a patron, all those lovely things. It really helps me out. And I shall see you next time. Bye.